the the first case study is um, to do with um, designing tools and techniques for teaching mathematics geometry and graphical content to visually impaired um, school children really um, this emerged this came out of uh, our collaboration with um, madras christian college which is based in um, south india and uh, the tool is a tactile geometry tool it is a it, it is a haptic tool it's a touch tool a touch sensitive device uh, toolbox rather that we uh, template uh, that we designed for teaching geometry to visually impaired um, um, school children in remote parts remote uh, um, areas uh, of south india tamil nadu andhra pradesh um the tool um, has been designed of course keeping in mind the needs of visually impaired students who um, as we know struggle to do the hand exploratory uh, uh, you know um, analysis uh, that's how they work but uh, they are, if they are to be taught geometry or mathematics or graphical content exactly the same way you would teach any child with a normal vision then you need devices so that you can easily communicate that so that was the first uh, um, case study the second case study uh, is a scientific uh, analysis of images uh, to be precise um, the blood smear slides the slides of uh, um, you know in uh, taken in uh, blood transfusion uh, division of uh, the hospitals and these smears um, and then analyzing the blood smear and analyzing the blood um, images for archival purposes and also for pathological decision making as well as watermarking these images so that the images don't get the smears don't get mixed up the impact of uh, the uh, first project uh, actually i should say the first project on uh, designing tactile tools for visually impaired is uh, um, entitled magic to vip that's the acronym we use for it um the the full form is making accessible graphical information con- uh, content to visually impaired so magic to vip and uh, this was used by as i mentioned uh, blind school uh, pupil in south india uh, remote parts of uh, you know th- those states of uh, tamil nadu and andhra pradesh uh, school kids of course and as well as the teachers in teaching that and it of course changed the quality of their life you know so for uh, for the first time they were thrilled to say that oh i can i can bisect a line for example or i can draw a geometrical construct or i, I now know how to draw a triangle with a particular angles for instance so they were thrilled with that so that was the great impact um, you know, for for those um, uh, school children in terms of uh, the image segmentation and watermarking project uh it uh, helped uh, the transfusion uh, medicine section of cmc velour christian medical college in automating some of these processes within their organization so it's being used there it's in the pilot stage but it certainly is helping the pathologists uh, keep those smear slides digitized as opposed to storing it away somewhere for archival purposes it is easier to archive easier to transport and so on so that was the impact of those two projects that we have written our case studies on dr robinson who was involved in the magic to vip project um he his um, innovative design that he actually conducted while he was uh, visiting um, research fellow in this department uh, that design has been recognized uh, by the president of india as an innovation and, uh, and the work also received uh, tamil nadu government of uh, um, tamil nadu government's uh, recognition for innovation award so you know it has been very widely also the uh, project was um, uh, the dissemination of the project i i should say was conducted jointly with um, the national institute for visually impaired or or, or visually handicapped nivh in india in south india uh, and the seminars were organized um uh, um under unesco um you know seminar series um so so that was uh, uh, that and also in in the uk we have been in um, in discussions with the with the royal um, national institute of blind so so we have been you know uh, further progressing those projects but the project has already had uh, you know good impact in terms of reach and significance